to A1 Vacuum and Sewing's live stream for Friday, April 12th. Should we stream on TikTok too? Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't, does anyone do TikTok? Yeah. They all do TikTok. All the ladies? That, that's our question for the day is how many of you are on TikTok. Okay, yeah. No, we should ask, do you do TikTok, what, Instagram, what, 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 YouTube Reels? Yeah, what, yeah. So that's going to be the question. Uh -huh. So we are attempting to... I just realized I haven't touched my hair all day. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm becoming... A man after Jeannie's heart. I don't. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I just remember... roll out of bed. So this was, remember yesterday how Patrick was like, you need to drink more water. And I was all offended. So I, I was, need water, actually. I need water, too. Um. So afterwards, I was like, why did you say that to me? Because then I was. I wasn't sure why. And I was like, why didn't you just tell me? So he said that. And, you know, I'd been up hours. He said that I had she still She still had all the pillow marks on her face. Like, I looked over and, like, this whole side of her face had the wrinkled edge of a pillow. <laughs> so I need more water so it pushed it out. But since I was dehydrated... Then it was just all there, right? Right. Oh man. Um. She is not a water drinker. I hate drinking water. You know what I like drinking? I like Panera lemonade. That or it's not. It's their hibiscus. Is it their hibiscus lemonade or something we like that? We also eat, we we also call it tumor juice. Yeah, because the tumors love it. But I told him, because we, so Reno didn't have a Panera until, what, last year? They and if Reno Panera is listening, <laughs> your food is awful. Patrick thinks it's awful. But, it's um, awful. It's like, it's bad. Like, so I was, like, dying for Panera to open up because I love their hibiscus lemonade. But my uh, oncologist told me that it feeds the tumor. Sugar feeds the tumor. Not that I have any. But I just don't want to grow more. So, um, and I told him, I go, when Panera opens, I'm going to buy the big gulp size. And I'm going to just drink it like water. More, better than water. And uh, I haven't even had one. Had since, what? Uh, I haven't gone to Panera to get there. The other lemonade I love is the, sim what's the other one? The pink lemonade, that simple, simply... You know, the pink lemonade that you buy just at the grocery store. Like raspberry, oh, pink, raspberry lem pink lemonade. I love that. I could just drink that all day. It's like first ingredient, water. Second ingredient, corn syrup. <laughs> <laughs> but water to me, drinking water to me is like, it's like a job I don't want. I don't want to do it. I mean, you know, Doug, Doug says, how safe is TikTok? It's still based in China. I mean, let's I don't let's TikTok. let's let's uh, let's be real here. All of our data on all of these platforms is being bought, sold, traded like. Yeah, because they know what you like. They market to you. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Cause then I'm not wasting time. Stuff pops up and I'm like, Oh, I like that. But like, I have friends who are like hardcore privacy buffs. Yeah. And unless you're using a VPN all the time, like they know exactly who you are, where you live, how old you are, what you like, what you see. And, and I get it. Like they're concerned about the idea that like all this data about American Best by the Chinese government, but the reality is Facebook would sell it to them anyways. Um, and so would you, you know, I mean, that's what they're like. If the product's free, you're the product, 
Yeah, I, if I, the product uh, is free, like any service you use that you don't pay for, they are packaging you up in a little box, putting a bow on it, and selling it to the highest bidder. So, so uh, I don't TikTok because I'm filled with fear, and then. <laughs> I don't know. I, are they going to start putting stuff in my feed that's going to make me more stupid? <laughs> Which it does. Well, we, so we were talking about this. When, when were we talking about this? Like, it's like, it's like, uh, you know what I don't like about TikTok is the fact that the Chinese don't allow TikTok to be sold to their own people. The Chinese version they of TikTok, yeah, the different. Chinese version of TikTok that goes to kids under the age of 18 is all about like enrichment and academics and stuff like that, where um, I mean, and this is a pretty dark subject, but it, it's like the algorithm sells to your base desires like that's how it works. Sorry. And like it's it's uh, it's going to show you the stuff that sucks you in. And that content isn't really good. And we've talked a lot about it, about how, I mean, they call it the refrigerator analogy, but like, it's like you can go into these social media platforms and fill your refrigerator with broccoli and kale and good food. And then the third time you open the door to the refrigerator, it's filled with ice cream. Um, and that's just what these algorithms do is they sell you, um, they sell it to you. So we have done a couple of reels. We have done a couple we of did, shorts. We've done one reel. Um, so it, it's they they are out there. Um, YouTube, like I like that was something that was made by us. But uh yeah, anyways, it's um it's um And I wanted to do more, I just like I just have it. I wanna do it though. But I like, and just to wrap the thought on the social media stuff, I tend to be pretty uh, fatalistic about the whole thing. Like, like the reality is that the the technologies that have made our lives at times easier uh, are also being used. Like, it's all about marketing and packaging to us and everything else. And I, I am not like a big privacy buff obviously as Jeannie and I are here on these platforms spilling our guts to you but um it's uh it's uh I just kind of go it's it's happening with or without your permission like you have to have a pretty significant firewall to avoid all of it so any who um uh, quilting through the seasons. So Marlene asks if I've done quilting through the seasons. Um, oh my God, how many pages is this? Oh no, it's not that many. It wasn't that many. I was like, what? It's probably about four pages right now. Um, and how, I can, how done is it? The qu the quilt part is done. I, I do still need to like make some modifications. And a lot of times I'll do that as I go. Um, the embellishments are like 75% done. I worked on it when we were in uh, Sedona. I haven't touched it since. And I was like, I can't do it anymore. I can't, I can't do it. I was like the guy like smashing the watermelon in his head, on his head. Oh my God, this is like, she uses this for everything. It's a reel. <laughs> it's from Instagram. It actually originated on TikTok. And it's you about a dog. It. It's, it's about a dog. This is my dog when it's just me, me and my dog. And it's like the dog's so relaxed and they're petting the dog and the dog's quiet. And then this is my dog when I have that guest. And it's this guy who starts screaming splashes of watermelon on his head. And I'm like, that's totally, you know how your dogs are crazy and just embarrassing when guests come over. That's how it is. Um, so uh, I, um, do you want, this is, it's, I haven't even proofread it or anything, Marlene. If you want it, send me an email and I'll, I'll send you what I have right now. But it is, it's a little rough. Because a lot of times I'll have like things in my head that I'll be thinking about like, Hey, I think I want to do this first 
Oh, you know what I you know what I, I put in here? I did all the filler blocks. I was like, let's do all the filler blocks first. And I wrote in her, I'll be grouping multiple filler blocks in the eight by 12 hoop and a nine and a half by 14 hoop is what I put in here. So, so Gwen, that, that has to do with cookies. Um, so, you know, when you visit these websites, like a lot of the things that people are talking about have to do with cookies. They put a marketing or a tracking cookie and then when you log into a new page, it can reference those. Uh, and so some of those tracking cookies like Amazon, like in these other sites, they track what you're doing on other websites. So it's not based upon what's happening on the VPN, but it's happening on your actual computer. So it can see that. So I, I guess, you know, this is the world in which we live and the way that I kind of figure it out is, or the way that I think about it, and this is not, I don't know a ton about it, but the, um, I think if you're aware of it and you behave accordingly, that's better than pretending or thinking that it's not happening um, or thinking that there's a way out of it. Um, like, it, it's like incognito mode on, uh, your devices where you can like set a privacy mode where it, uh, like all that does is it doesn't create a history. All the tracking and everything else is, is still going on through your um, home internet or whatever. Um, so you can, you can do encrypted stuff, but that's the flip side of that too. When you talk about encrypted stuff like Telegram or Silk Road or any of that stuff, because it's encrypted and it can't be tracked, it's also a cesspool. It's like the worst of the worst. Um, so Patrick is, he's my IT guy. He's where I learn about um, history and current events and home maintenance. Right, but Gwen, copy. if you were signed into Chrome or if you were signed into Internet Explorer, like if you were signed into a browser that you also sign into on your home computer, then, then it connects to you there it also like and this was the world in which i i lived when i was in my consulting life prior was all about marketing information it is amazing the accuracy with which they can track you like and this goes back 15 years ago and technology's gotten nothing but better since like it is entirely possible that based upon your activity on your work computer and based upon your work act, your activity on your home computer, that companies have linked you. So even though they don't explicitly know it's you, they know it's you. So it, it's just, you know, like I said, I'm kind of fatalistic about the, the whole thing. Um, so Jeannie mentioned a sew along. <laughs> That's Monday. Yes, Monday. And, uh, I will, what do you think, 9 or 10? Uh, wait, you're talking about when it is? Your sew along is when it is. Should I do 9 or 10? I feel like 10 safer. Okay, we're going to start it at 10. That is Pacific Standard Time. That's my time. So, um, 10 my time. That'll be uh, 1 o'clock East Coast, noon Central, and uh, 11 Mountain. And then wherever else you are, you can figure that out. But um, I'm going to be doing, um, I'm just prepping. I'm prepping uh, Quilting Through the Seasons. If you have that, great. If you don't and you just feel like sewing with us, you can just sew with us. And you do not have to... This. I need to seal that up. So, um, so what I'm are you just going to be live feeding. Quilting through the season. Okay. But you know what I was working on last night? So, Michelle reminded me that I have Design Snap on the Luminaire. So, when, when that first came out, I couldn't use it. Because for some reason, when I would take a picture on my phone, it would send it into my camera roll into a weird place. And Wait, I, say this again. 
remember when uh, I was like, oh, I love this feature. Like you had two, uh, you had. I couldn't two, even get to it. But you had two uh, camera rolls. Camera rolls, and it would, and only, it was only sending to the camera roll that wasn't active on your current. Camera. Yeah, so I was never able to use it, and I forgot all about the feature. And then Michelle was talking about it. I was like, oh my god, that's right. So I got home, um, and I, I, I started working on this. Which, isn't that so cute? I just put this up on the website, and this is the design that we're going to use for that class. You don't have to get it now. But um, it's up there at but 15. But get it now. But get it now. Um, we're going to do the poppy one, because look how cute it is. And, uh, it and plus, was... you'll be able to hear poppy. <laughs> I literally... And this is a feature that you have on the Luminaire and the Solaris and the, you can do it on like the Stellar and the Altair, the other one with the app, um, XC1, XJ1, all of those. Um, I, it's a, it's a hand sewing. If you're familiar with Crab Apple Hill Studios, they do a lot of hand sewing patterns. Um, and I love that look. There's nothing that's ever going to going to duplicate that hand sewing look but if you love hand sewing and maybe you can't do it anymore or you see a pattern that they don't make for embroidery I just took a picture I literally just took a picture of the hand sewing pattern and sent it to the machine and then just digitized it it was so I, I and, and Michelle's going to show you guys how to do that too that's what she's going to do she's she's working on something so amazing this is like a baby class compared to her class um, but this was it. I just took a picture of it with my camera, like, and then I just sent it over. I didn't have to use the, you didn't have to use the positioning frames. I didn't have to use the scanner. Um, the images, and, and Michelle and I are always talking about it, like, what's the best way to get the cleanest image? And a lot of times it's going to be the picture, or it's going to be a scan. So, um, it was super clean too. I only had like a couple of things that I had to I had to clean up. But how much fun is that? And if you're scared to do it, that's what we're here for. We're gonna we're gonna create the class for you and then we're gonna walk you through it. We're gonna hold your hand and be like, Patrick, don't be scared. Mama take care of you, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> don't look at me like that. <laughs> So Michelle and I are going to walk you through it. It's going to be so much fun. So, um, and, I, and I feel like people are like, you know, do I need a luminaire? Do I need, yeah, if you want to do these things. And they're really, really fun. And they're making it more like easier and easier every day. So why don't you, so you said luminaire. But the reality is Destiny, Dream Machine, Luminaire. Destiny can't do this. Destiny oh, and Dream you can't, Machine can't do it. Because they it. don't have the app. Oh, you know what, though? Destiny and Dream Machine, you Michelle's going to do a video, um, and you're going to use your scanner. Are they using their scanner? We're going to send that. We're going to show you how to use the scanner, but we're going to also send you the image because it's going to be cleanest with the image, right? Yeah. But she's going to do a video. Yeah. Yes, you're going to have a video. The that, video will yeah and because we always i mean part of the conversation we always have is we don't want anyone to be left out i mean the reality of it sometimes there's going to be some people that are going to be left I mean, out the technology's moved on yes yeah you know how technology is it's like um yeah it's like phones right we would like to include rotary phone users but you know, technology's moved on. Remember when uh, the cell phones first came out? I was I was teaching, and this was what in like ninety. When was this? Like two? Oh, it was like two thousand and two thousand and three and two thousand and four. And I was teaching middle school math, and the kids would make fun of me because my phone was <laughs> my phone was so big. I had, we like had that those Nokia. Nokia phones, yeah, and not the like, not like a flip, like little razor one. Yeah, remember like, when you like would text? Brick. You'd be like one, 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 <laughs> one, four, four, three, 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 three. I don't <laughs> like, remember that. Like the letters were in the numbers of the phone, but it was like <laughs> A B C <laughs> D E F. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember that. I remember. Did I text? 
I don't think I texted. I think you texted. I, I think don't that think you liked it. Yeah, but the kids, and you know how middle school kids are. So they'd make fun of me if they ever saw me. And, you know. They were like, hello? <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was like a brick. It was like talking on a brick. And this would just be, no. And then we got blackberries. Did I have a blackberry? We actually got, uh, like the blackberry alternative which was like the uh, was it the knockoff no it was like it was like an alternative but then it had a full qwerty keyboard oh i don't think i had that yeah did you I? did oh you know you didn't i did cause yeah because i, I had the brick because i had the brick <laughs> that's She's what like, i kept. what i can't hear you you had to put hang a on i'll text you <laughs> It'd take like nine minutes. <laughs> and it had like, it had the antenna. I think it had an antenna. It did not have an antenna. It didn't? No, oh, my, maybe the had, like, QWERTY keyboard, hard... the QWERTY keyboard one had an antenna. You'd grab the Blackberry, the top of the Blackberry and it would come out. Do you, do you remember like having the, the regular phone with like a super long cord? Like just the regular one that connected to the wall and you'd have like, you know, the QWERTY. Like early. in high school, you'd buy the 30 foot cord so you could like lay on the couch while you were talking to somebody. I had, the, I had one of those with a stylus. I mean, those were Blackberries too. Like, I mean, a bunch of them had it. Yes, it was half a brick. Mine was more like half a brick too. It was, uh, and I, I too, well, no, because mine was outdated. I, you know, I always got Patrick's hand me downs, so Patrick would get whatever was like super cool, and then I'd get his hand me downs that I that the kids would make fun of me for. But um, you did. You got my purple Nokia. That's the Nokia that you were talking about. That was yeah. It had like a purple like. Like it was and it like was funny. I didn't even want the purple one, but it was like lesser expensive, so I bought the purple one. But I probably loved it. I loved it. Okay, so that's the whole thing with technology. Technology changes really quickly. Stuff becomes obsolete. Um, but they're, they're really, things are cool. It's a good time to maybe look at a machine. If you're thinking about looking at a machine. But you have to be somebody that's one, that wants to look at value. Okay. Like, and that's, and that's like one of the things that's happening right now in the industry. Is, like, have we talked about anything other than like, or are we talking sense? about, no, I th this is so, so the, uh, so you talked about the dish towel so long. Yes. Um, so be it's going to cool. be awesome. So the, uh, there have been a lot of questions about the new machine. The reality is we don't know anything. They don't tell and, us and, anything. Like nobody does really. Um, you're going to see more and more over.